You know, I learned something about myself today, and that is I suck at Gun Master. I, I, I was really grinding to get a Gun Master win because I haven't played it a lot. And I'm not a huge fan of this game mode, um, but I did did squeak out a pretty good Gun Master game here for you guys to watch. But what's going on? Yes, today we are doing my 30,000 question and answer, and I ask a bunch of you guys on Twitter and Facebook what kind of questions would you want me to answer in a question and answer video. So we're going to go through a handful of those because, you know, 30,000 subs is a pretty monumental uh, point in my channel's life and I never thought that I would be able to say that and I'm really kind of uh, humbled to uh, to make this video to be honest with you guys um, so it is my pleasure you know thank you for uh, sticking around and I know a lot of you guys are new um, and I have done a question and answer in the past at around 10,000 subs so I figured you know might as well do another since it was pretty popular and a lot of these questions you may already know about me if you've been around for a while and if that's the case don't worry you know there will be new questions I, I tried to pick a, a nice variety you know a little mix of battlefield questions with personal life stuff and uh, that way you guys can uh, actually get some something out of this you know learn a little bit about me I'll learn a little bit about you but if this is popular I'd be more than willing to do another one here in the future so um, without wasting any more time let me try to get through as many of these as possible and if I didn't get to your question no worries like I said if you guys like this I'd be willing to do another one here in the coming days but first question comes from Twitter and he is asking do you have a girlfriend yes I do in fact we are moving into a new house um, at the end of the month actually so that's pretty exciting um, it's going to be nice because I'm actually going to have more space to do recording. I'll probably do a setup video and stuff like that. His next question, I'm going to give him a chance here with the two-parter, is what is your opinion on the BF3 dinos? I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if Dice will actually do it, but you know, I'm a huge fan of dinosaurs if you didn't know. Um, so I think it would be awesome if they uh, decide to go that route. Next question, what is your favorite Battlefield game and why? My favorite Battlefield game is probably the first. Um, I do like 2142 a lot though. Um, I don't know. It's it's really hard to say. I would say Battlefield 3 is maybe actually my favorite, to be honest with you. Um, I do really enjoy this game. Even though it has some frustrating moments, it's still one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I put a lot of hours into it, and it's a very solid game with, uh, with a lot of problems. You know, it's not without its share of problems, but I do enjoy Battlefield 3. All right, next question. Are you doing any sports? Well, I used to play hockey. I'm a huge, huge hockey fan. Um, when I actually first started my channel, this is uh, kind of cool, is I did NHL 12 videos, or 11. Was 11 out then? I think it was 11. I did NHL 11 videos, so um, I used to uh, post a lot of hockey videos. I am a huge hockey fan. I do like baseball as well. Um, I follow football and basketball, but I can't call myself a huge fan of those sports. I mean, I do watch them from time to time, but not a huge, huge fan. And when I say football, I do mean American football. All right, next question. Which game first? Which game blew your mind and got you addicted for the very first time? Well, you know, I've been gaming for a very long time, so that's a really tough question to answer. I would say the first game that I felt like, you know, I could not live without was Ocarina of Time on N64. Uh, when I, re I rented that game, and I think I renewed it like twice, and finally I saved up enough money. Um, I think I was like, I was pretty young when that game came out, and... Um, I bought it and back then you know games were expensive for the N64 so uh, about the same price they were now and I, I bought that game and I started my save file over and I got to the point where I was doing like speed runs through that game because I loved it so much but um, I would say that was the first game I was truly truly uh, addicted to um, after that I played all sorts of games like at Pokemon um, I would say that Pokemon was another <laughs> game that I was just absolutely addicted to so um, yeah I have had my fair share of, uh, of games that I've uh, you know had that crack addiction for him. but all right next question um, how did you end up working at Winchester well you know I'm not actually going to answer this question I got a lot of people asking about this but uh, rather I'm gonna do a video for you guys talking a little bit about it because uh, I've talked about it in my old videos um, I will link a couple of those in the description if you want to check them out where I've talked about some of my bosses but I can talk about that more in depth uh, what I actually did there though was I was a Q&A guy Basically, I made sure that the uh, NATO contracts complied with the ammunition that we were making. So um, a lot of people try to school me in ammo types when really it should probably be the other way around because I've seen every ammo type known to man. Um, in fact, I've seen how they're made. So I think that's a lot more knowledge than a lot of people actually um, actually think that I have. But I try to keep it to myself because, you know, gun nerd arguments tend to uh, get out of hand in the comments section. So I try to uh, try to keep my uh, my opinions out of those. That's why I don't really talk a whole lot about that. All right. Next question. 
when did you properly get into gaming and YouTube or on YouTube and do you have any tips for new YouTubers? Well, um, I've been doing this since World at War. I was a huge World at War fan. I, I, I love that game. I know a lot of you guys probably didn't like it, um, especially you Battlefield guys. Um, but Call of Duty World at War was the first game I ever started posting. After that, I did start doing the NHL videos. I did Medal of Honor videos. Um, it kind of segued me into Modern Warfare 2, which I did not like. I did not play a lot of that. Um, and I posted a lot of Black Ops because Black Ops to me was a fun game. So um, tips for new YouTubers is don't try to do what everyone else is already doing. A lot of people called me stupid for you know only posting Battlefield. And look where I'm at now. You know, 30,000 subscribers. The year before that, I, I only gained 10,000. You know, I've gained 20,000 in the past, like... I don't know five months so um, it's been a wild ride but I can thank Battlefield for that so just be yourself you know post what you like don't try too hard and you'll eventually have some success next question what is your longest headshot um, I believe it is 1116 meters something like that um, I have a video of that as well just search it on my channel you can see the longest headshot I've ever gotten and booyah I got it with the SV 98 I know most people do it with uh, the M98, but I, I was doing it the hard way. The only thing that would have been harder was maybe the M40 silence, but um, it is, has some substantial bullet drop. All right, next question. Have you ever fired, owned any guns in the past? I've fired more guns than I probably could remember. Um, I do not own any, personally. Uh, my family owns them, that's why I fired them. I mean, my dad also works for uh, Winchester as well, which is obviously how I got that job, you know, connections, connections, but um, yeah, I've fired a lot of guns. I mean, you know, 1911, M9, anything, you know, I was actually in uh, junior ROTC when I was in high school, Air Force, and I went to a summer camp where we shot M4s all day, so um, I have fired guns, and you know, I do know a little bit about guns. I'm not some sort of noob here, um, but yeah. You know, I can uh, talk about that in another video as well, because that's something that we really don't have time for. And look at me wasting time as I say I can't waste time. All right, next question. Uh, the one thing that you are most scared of, and that is disappointment. Uh, maybe. Maybe disappointment, um, regret, wasting time. I, I've always been worried. Uh, you know, I always fear having regret, you know, doing something wrong, doing something. Uh, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, when you sit down and think about it, you probably can't come up with a lot of things that you were quote scared of. So it's actually a more tricky question than you'd think. But um, I would say regret is the thing that I am personally most scared of. All right, next question. What was your absolute first memory of playing a video game or earliest that you can recall and how did you feel? First uh, video game I ever played was Space Invaders on the Atari with my father. Um, I enjoyed it, you know, back then gaming was more simple, and to me, if it was like a rich man's thing, because if you remember, our Ataris were pretty expensive, so that was my earliest, you know, gaming experience, I was probably like 4 or 5, um, and then after that I did play a lot on the, uh, personal computer, I had like a Sesame Street game even, um, I can't remember playing on the Apple when I was younger, you know, Oregon Trail, we all, we all played Oregon Trail in middle school, but those are some of the earliest games I played. Um, your days at Winchester, and nah, I will skip that one because I already talked about that. What is your favorite weapon out of Battlefield 3 so far, at least, and why? My favorite is the SV-98. I don't know why. I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. I like the way it feels when you shoot it. It's kind of middle ground of all the bolt actions, and I like the snipe. Um, sniping is my guilty pleasure in this game, and the SV-98 is my favorite weapon. AN-94 is up there pretty high, but I think SV-98 is definitely my favorite. All right, last question. What is your favorite game mode in Battlefield and why? My favorite game mode is probably Rush. I, my least favorite is Conquest Domination. Um, I think Conquest Domination blows. It's not really that fun to me. I don't, I don't enjoy Conquest Domination, but I like Rush because it's like... It's more like a Battlefield experience to me. I mean, you get a mix of vehicles, but it's not overwhelming like Conquest can get. Um, I used to play a lot of Conquest and Bad Company 2, but um, in Battlefield 3, I really just enjoy Rush the best because you get that frontline experience, you know, defense versus attacking, and I really do just enjoy it. So, anyways, that was the last question. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to do another one of these, let me know, and I can get to some of the questions I didn't get to. Um, like I said, keep an eye out for the uh, video on me making bullets. I'll do that here sometime next week because, uh, you know, we're dying down here a little bit with the Close Quarters DLC, so I'll have some more time to do more focused videos. Um, not so much, you know, gun reviews and stuff like that. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll talk more in depth about that. But if you want to see another one of these, let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.